since I started this crusade, back in November 2022. Yeah, it's been 18 months. Um, I've had a long procession of very, very smug milk float drivers telling me how they don't pay any road tax, they cost them 3p to drive down the road, and they get all the tax breaks and everything else, and what a wonderful thing it is to be driving a milk float. And I've told them they're talking bollocks. But nevertheless, they've continued, and they've banged on and on and on and on. And I never thought, in a million years, the person that would come to my aid and ruin their arguments would be our unelected, soon to be completely unelected Prime Minister, Mr Sunak. But nevertheless, he's come on Trumps again. I mean, it's bad enough he starts bringing back national service, but he's got more than that. He's got loads of shit policies up his sleeve. And here's another one, and this isn't even a policy, this is law. As of April 2025, all milk float drivers are going to have to pay road tax. £190 a year, in fact. No concessions, no differentiation of, you know, less or more or anything else. £190 a year, flat fee. And uh, if it's a new car, they pay £10 a year for the first year and then £190 a year after that. But if it's registered before 2025, it's £190 a year. Bang, straight in. So there goes your free road tax. It's gone. They're after you as well. Because you thought, milk floaters, that you were doing the right thing and the government were going to reward you for it. Well, you thought wrong. They're coming after you anyway. Now, if that 190 quid don't make you sick, how about this? Are you aware of the expensive, <laughs> the expensive car tax <laughs> service? Literally, that's what it's called, the expensive car tax. I, I think there's another word, but it's something like that. It's the expensive car tax, where any car that was sold for over 40 grand Anything in excess of 40,000, including the one I'm in right now. I'm in a BMW 320D right now, which was exempt from the expensive car tax until August this year, and then it has to pay it. Um, and uh, all milk floats and hybrids over 40,000 pounds in value are going to have to pay the expensive car tax every year. Now, over 40 grand. I know what you're thinking. Oh, yeah, but there aren't many cars in that bracket. A new Peugeot 208 electric is 40 grand RRP. All Audis, all BMWs, Volvos, Teslas, every single Tesla, cheapest ones, 44 grand. Um, Peugeots, Fords, Vauxhalls, literally. It's probably 80% of the complete milk float fleet out there is going to be in the expensive car tax bracket. Which means that for the privilege of owning a milk float, I'm really smug about this, it's going to cost you another £410 a year. <laughs> so you bought that milk float to save money, your road tax in 2025. If you paid over 40 grand for it, it's going to be 600 quid a year. <laughs> That's as much as my Range Rover was. <laughs> oh dear. So there you have it. The government, busy trying to save the planet by getting everyone to drive a milk float, has been caught with his pants down. It's nothing to do with driving milk floats. It's everything to do with pricing people off the roads completely. As I've been saying from day one, and as everyone's been telling me I'm wrong, not everyone's been telling me I'm wrong, otherwise I wouldn't have 25,000 followers, would I? But um, all those that have been saying, no, oh, no, you're wrong, milk floats are the future. They may be the future, but if they're the future, you're going to get taxed on them. So if you're getting taxed on them on road tax now, and getting taxed for premium, because you bothered to spend the extra money to buy a milk float and be one of the early adopters, now they're coming for you. 600 quid a year road tax from nothing. 
I know you save money by charging at home, and you're probably quite smug about the fact that it still works out cheaper than a petrol car. A, it doesn't. B, it doesn't. C, it doesn't. Because if you want to leave home and charge up anywhere else, and I'll, there's a separate video coming on this, but I found a new high in the world of motorway charging, and I was on the M6 app. Corley services just before rugby services on the M6 uh, eastbound where it was 89 pence a kilowatt eye watering dearest one I've found so far so they're not bringing the prices down they're putting them up 89 pence a kilowatt cost me 42 quid to get 160 miles of range yeah that's right so, uh, no, it's not working out cheaper, and if they've come for your road tax, you know the next thing they're coming for is your company car tax. So that ain't going to be cheaper either very soon. They're going to come for that. And you're going to be stuck with a bloody milk float. You can only do 100 miles in without charging up for half an hour every time. That's not cheaper to run, not cheaper to tax, not cheaper on uh, car tax, not cheaper on business tax, and is more inconvenient, less spec, and more shit to drive. And all because the government told you to go and do it, and you listened to the government, and now they're coming for you as well. And it doesn't matter whether who's in power, it's not going to make any difference, whether it's bloody Stammer, it's not going to be Sunak, let's be honest, it might be Starmer. My guess is on a minority government, and I reckon there'll be a bit of green and a bit of reform in there, and then they'll complete that nothing will ever get done. It'll be like Northern Ireland, where they can't agree on anything, because you've got three complete polar opposites in government together, just to make up a majority, and nothing will get done. And I think that'll probably suit a lot of people. Because if they can't do anything, they can't come up with any more shit policies. And quite frankly, I do think that this tax on milk flakes is a shit policy. Because if you want to encourage people to get them, why are you suddenly going to start charging them? It makes no sense, unless, of course, you subscribe to the theory that the whole point is to stop people driving all together and get cars off the road and make you stay in your 15-minute city. Now all the clues are starting to come together. Can you see it yet? Because I can. I've been able to see it for years, thanks to these wonderful glasses from Varco Eye Care. Um, so... You can't come up with any other explanation. You can call it tax grab, I suppose. they got to get back all the money that they've given as incentives to get milk floats in the first place. But you'd think the people they tax for that would be the petrol and diesel drivers. But no, they're coming for the milk floaters. They're coming for you. <laughs> and I got a bit when that news flipped up on my feed this morning. I thought, well, that's nice. So uh, there you go. As of April 2025, it's no longer cheaper to own a milk float because they're coming for you for road tax and expensive car tax. Now, if only you'd listen to the fat bloke who 18 months ago jumped in his first milk float and uttered the immortal phrase, future my arse.